And both of the attractions are under renovation and it's still not open yet. Or even thicker than my thumb. Eating this ice cream doesn't make me guilty. It's really very, very good. I initially thought that the seaweed would be crispy, but... A very good afternoon here in Taichung. And we have finally arrived from Sun Moon Lake. The bus from Sun Moon Lake to Taichung, of all the times we walk past the queue, there are always people there. There isn't much luggage space on the bus, so once it is full, they won't allow passengers to board the bus and you have to wait for the next one, which is 30 minutes later. This bus stops by the HSR station as well as the Taichung main station. So do join us as we explore Taichung. We will see you at each of the attractions. The first attraction we decided to visit today at Taichung is the Rainbow Village. Based on the online article, it was defaced last year and it seems that it is open, but it is not. Even the project description outside this green metal gate states that the project completion is 31st January, but it is now April and it's still not open yet. So do take note if you are planning a visit soon. There is an interesting story behind this Rainbow Village. This Rainbow Village was found solely by an elderly war veteran when he received a letter to say that he need to leave his village because they are going to demolish the area. He didn't want to leave and so he started painting. Initially, he only painted in his own bedroom wall and slowly he expanded the area to outside of his house and also the 11 abandoned houses beside his house. So as a result, the photo were widely shared online and the Rainbow Village is now a popular attraction in Taiwan. It has over 1 million visitors per year. Our second attraction of the day here in Taichung is this chapel behind us. As you can see, it is under renovation. Things aren't really going well for us. We spent about an hour to head to Rainbow Village and now we spend another hour to head here and both of the attractions are under renovation. So what is so special about this chapel? Behind us is the Luz Memorial Chapel. It's a Christian chapel located inside a university campus. Some background about this chapel is designed by two architects, Chen Chi Kuan and Ian Pei, who also designed the glass pyramid at the Louvre in Paris. We saw online that the interior of this chapel is also quite amazing, but it is only open on Sunday. And our very last stop of day is some place that will definitely open. It's the Yes, and we are going to have our dinner there. Our first stop at Feng Jia Ye Shi, we bought the Ning Lun Dan Bing. We ordered the hot and spicy sauce. They were saying it's an award winning sauce. The batter is slightly chewy and then they have the egg taste because they put an egg inside the pancake and there is a very strong taste of spring onion. Haven't really tasted the sauce yet. I feel that the specialty is not the sauce but the batter itself. The batter is chewy and a bit sweet plus the egg and the spring onion. Right beside the Ming Lun Pancake is this Ruzhuan Takoyaki store. So it seems that normally it has pretty long queue, but today it doesn't have much of a queue. That's why we decided to try it. Instead of the usual bonito flakes on top of the takoyaki, they have this seaweed option, which is why we chose the seaweed option. Let me have a taste of this. When they were making the takoyaki, it seems that they put a lot of oil, but the exterior is not really very, very crispy. And I initially thought that the seaweed would be crispy, but it doesn't seem like it's crispy as well. So overall, it's a above average takoyaki but it's pretty cheap at $35 for 6. The third item is the Guan Zhiling 
Taiwanese sausage bun. It is the glutinous rice sausage wrapped with Taiwanese sausage. We ate one at Kaohsiung and we realized that the condiments that they add is different. Each store has its own different condiments. This one has garlic, salted vegetable, cucumber, peanut powder, taipo, and as well as chili. So we ordered the extra spicy one. You can see here, it looks really oily and delicious. And this is a must eat if you are visiting Peng Jia Night Market. Because of the various condiments, it gives a lot of different texture to this food. The sausage is sweet, the glutinous rice is a bit salty, and then with all the different condiments, it adds a lot of flavor to it. So it's like a burst of flavor when you bite into it. And because we ordered the extra spicy one, it's really very, very good. So if you are here at Peng Jia, do try it. is the fried sweet potato ball. It is a 30 years old store called Wen Jia Lao Dian. Once I bite the sweet potato ball, the air come out from the ball. The outer layer is very crispy and the inner layer is a layer of chewy sweet potato. So far, this is the best. Detox time, we bought a packet of guava with gan chao sauce taste test. This guava is not so crunchy as what we tasted in Kaohsiung. But if you want healthy food, yep, you can try. So, we initially thought this store was in the Feng Chia Night Market, but it is not. It's actually much further away and we need to sit a bus ride all the way here. And it is called the Angel Fried Chicken Cutlet. In a web poll, this is the rank 1 Taiwanese fried chicken. And so we have very, very, very high expectation of this. It has several stores, so you don't have to come to Taichung just to eat this. The one thing I noticed when I bite into this is that the chicken is really thick. Look at how thick it is. Or even thicker than my thumb. The exterior is crispy and inside is soft, tender and juicy chicken meat. Very, very thick meat. Very, very delicious. Do not miss this out when you are in Taiwan. They have a lot of outlets. Very, very good. This is the Painted Animation Lane. We actually found it while trying to search for attractions to visit in Taichung. So as you can see, the walls at the side is full of the different kinds of animation. So it's not just Japanese animation, there is lots of English ones as well. The history of this lane is that the owner of the motorcycle shop at the front feels that this whole alley is a bit bare and so he started painting. And as this lane grew attention, the owners of the nearby shop and houses taught the owner of this motorcycle shop to continue to paint and that's why we have lots of different paintings today and this has become sort of like a tourist attraction and I would say each of this painting here it really looks like the actual character this lane is not completed yet there are various walls still in progress to be completed so if you are in Taichung you can consider visiting this lane Behind me is the confectionery called Miyahara and some little facts about Miyahara Miyahara is built by Miyahara Takio, a Japanese ophthalmology doctor in 1927 It was the largest ophthalmology clinic in Taichung during the Japanese colonial period Now, Dawn Cake, a well-known pineapple pastry company has taken over the building and preserved Miyahara's original architecture The interior decoration was redesigned like Hogwarts in Harry Potter movie, the water well in the middle of the building is redecorated into a modern looking fundraising box made of glass. One of the must do things in Taichung is to come Miyahara and buy an ice cream and of course take the photo of the ice cream and post it on your social media. We bought two balls of ice cream with the cup. They gave us two free topping and the topping is like pineapple tart. Pretty good deal. So we bought the 100% chocolate and Alishan Oolong Tea and Osmethus taste test because it's 100% chocolate. It's not sweet at all and it has a very light alcohol taste. It's pretty late at night now but I'm eating this ice cream and it doesn't make me guilty. <laughs> Next, I will try the Ali San tea and Osmentus ice cream. When the ice cream got into my mouth, first I taste the Osmentus. After that, the Ali San tea flavor slowly come up. This is pretty good too. Highly recommended. And next, for the topping, we got the black tea shortbread. 
slightly harder and coated with a layer of sugar. Not very unique per se. Next, the pineapple tart. The outer layer is something like within the cookies and the tart and the inner layer is the pineapple. The pineapple tastes pretty good. This one is recommended. There is various version of the pineapple tart. The one that we picked is pineapple with salted egg. Now that I recall, the crust of the pineapple tart do have a salted egg taste. The pineapple tart is good. Behind us is supposed to be the very last attraction that we'll be visiting today. And we waited till at night to visit it because they said that it will light up at night and... Nothing. This is called the Green Waterfront Landscape. I think it's only during festival where you have areas like today has not been a very good day for us. All the attractions we visited were either closed or... Hopefully tomorrow will be better. We will be spending another day here at Taichung and we will see you tomorrow. Try very hard to get a B-roll.